Today, let's talk about one of Africa's most potent plants. A plant that can be processed and used in the treatment of headache, backache, stomach ache, fever, and just about any pain in the body. Sometimes, if you are a practitioner of African medicine, herbal medicine, someone can come to you with the pain in any part of the body. It can be fever, it can be pain. Not necessarily life-threatening pain, but pain all the same. So in such a situation, what do you do? Which, Af which African plant do you harvest, and how do you process it into medicine that can be used in the treatment of pain? What are your options? Well, today you are in luck. I'll show you one particular plant that you can harvest and use in the treatment of pain. It's a common plant. You'll see them in most, you'll see it in most, uh, most bushes around tropical Africa. You'll be able to see it and identify it. And also I will give you a step by step guide on how to harvest it, which part to use, and how to process it into medicine, step by step. But before I give you the step-by-step -step guide, before I reveal that plant to you, I need a favor from you. Please subscribe to this channel, help spread the word, so that African culture is promoted. Subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so that the next time I post another of this type of video, educative videos, you will be amongst the first people to be notified. Secondly, Please, please be gentle. Be gentle on Mother Nature. Avoid these plants responsibly. I'm begging you, African forests are disappearing at an alarming rate. So be responsible, please. Please protect the environment. Be gentle. It's our only home. We don't have another home anywhere. So please be gentle and avoid these plants responsibly. My name is Ongwen Laudog. I'm a heritage enthusiast based here in Uganda. Please welcome to my channel. Now, let's dive in. The plant that has properties that can ease pain and fever is this plant here. It's this plant. I'm sure if you love walking around the African bushes, you must have come across this plant. It is this plant here. Its name is Carissa spinarum. Some people call it, call it Carissa edulis. Some people might call it conkerberry, while others might call it the bush plum. You can call it any of those names. The spellings are on the screen. But I'm sure you can recognize it and be able to call it by its local name from where you come from. In my community, the Lango community in Uganda, we call it Achuga or Achoge, depending on which part of Lango you come from. Achuga or Achoge. Whatever the name, Carissa spinarum is a large, widely distributed shrub in tropical regions of Africa. It's also found in Southern Asia and also in Australia. Carissa spinarum is most often found in semi-harried coastal regions of Africa, but you can also find it inland, in harried areas inland, it, it, where there is not a lot of water, a lot of rain. You, 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 you find a lot of it. They can grow into a very dense bush. Carissa spinarum is most often found in semi-harried coastal regions, as I said. But it has a high tolerance and can grow in almost any environment in tropical Africa.
How do you process it into a painkiller? Here is a step-by-step -step guide, a step-by-step -step instruction on how to process Carissa spinarum to make it a painkiller. One, dig out and wash a handful of roots. You dig out the carissa, spinarum, and wash the roots. Clean it just like in any, in, in, a, in a serious endeavor you are undertaking. You clean it. You don't boil it with the soil. You clean it first. Then you crush the roots. That's the second point. You crush the roots in whatever equipment you have. Maybe you have a mortar. Maybe you, anything you use at home there in your practice for crushing roots. You use it. You crush the roots. Three, get one liter of clean water and you boil it. Boil the clean water. Make sure it's one liter. And you don't need to wait for the to, for the water to start boiling before you add the, the root that the, 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 the roots that you have pounded that you have crushed. You boil it together. You can boil it together. At the same time, you are putting the water on fire. You also put the roots into the water. Now. After doing that, you let it boil for 15 minutes. Let it boil for 15 minutes. Number four now, you can allow the patient to drink it in small quantities. The patient does not need to gallop it, you know, like he or she is drinking water, is thirsty drinking water. No, this is medicine. You, you take it in small quantities. Make sure it's warm, though. Make sure it's warm, not hot. Warm. And do, it, do that at different intervals during the day. You know, there is no fixed, you know, like morning, midday, or evening. No. At intervals. At intervals. As the, the patient notices the pain going down, he takes a little bit again. Waits for like an hour or two again, some little bit, until the pain eases. Even at night when the patient is going to bed, let him or her sip again a small quantity. Make sure it's warm before the patient drinks it. There you have it. Now it's your turn. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also please subscribe.